Let's start with some drums. So on the kick, we got some channel EQ. This is stock, by the way, Logic stock plugins. And so what I'm doing here, it's just getting more beater out of this kick, honestly. So this is with the first EQ off. All right, let's turn this EQ on. Yeah. Let's go to the second EQ. This is where I did show some uh, low end love, about 60 hertz. And then I did even more drastic top end EQ uh, for that beater. So let's listen to it with off. All right, let's turn it on. Three, four. Whoa. Off. On. Yeah, that's very transparent. Let's go on to the snare. I'm just using Pro EQ again, and uh, let's turn it off. All right, let's turn the EQ back on. Yeah. So it's controlled beefiness. So I rolled off that low end, the unnecessary stuff. And then I turned up about like 184 because I just felt like that's where the meat of that snare was. And then a little bit of top end sheen, not much, like around 1K. That's that's pretty much it on the snare. And then on the hi-hats, we have two layers of EQ again. So there's nothing really. Oh, some top end stuff. Uh, let's go to the Pro EQ. Okay, that's it. It just rolled off the low end. So it's two layers of open and closed hi-hats. It just makes it feel real. But this one, that's more of a longer open hi-hat. And then this one is a short one. So all three hi-hats together, you get this. First, on the drum bus, uh, I have some channel EQ, and this is just slightly brightening the drums. That's off. Turn it back on. Then next, we go into the compressor, and this is giving us some real life and feel. All right, turn it on. So that's pretty transparent. So we're getting some gain out of this too. So it's it's really doing work. Let's go into the uh, inflator next. This is our color. The inflator is the replacement for that. This is uh, more saturation. Here we go off. Let's turn it on. Boom. Mm. So all of this combined is why I didn't use the uh, VMRs. Let's go into the limiter. This is literally just taming the drums so I don't have a ton of peaks. So when I master it, and I'll show you guys my master bus, um, how I'm not killing my master bus. So you see, it's just killing those peaks. And I got the link in the description, guys, for all of these plugins, too. Story time. I linked up with Anna on Instagram. I was on my Explore page, and I see this thumbnail of this lady playing bass. And I'm like, okay, let me see what's up. And so I checked out her page, and I was like, oh, no, no, no. Like, she could play, play. And so I just, you know, double tapped on, I think, like, two videos that I thought was dope. Then, like, 15 minutes, I get a message. She, you know, reached out. And she was just like, yo, I'm really touched by you your music you know i'll be honored to collab i don't really do stuff like this but i'll be honored to collab with you and i was like the pleasure will be mine so i came up with the bass line that's hundred and that's pretty much the whole bass line You know, I like to play like a bass player. So this was like a dream come true. And so she asked me, she was like, is it cool if I play what you play? And I'm like, is it cool? Is It's a dream come true. Heck yeah. Now we can get into her bass. We can get rid of that stupid key bass and listen to her annihilate this bass line. That's hot.
so that's that's how it came about literally this is like life it's making the track it is the track let's get into the first realm of eq just rolled off a lot of low end and stuff like sub low end that just wasn't needed so she had a lot of sub on her bass which i enjoy um, but in terms of mixing, you know, just trying to keep everything focused and tight. So I just did a little corrective EQ and then I just brought up a boxy sound of all things. Uh, this is not what you're supposed to do with bass, but I did it because it felt good for the track. Just brought a lot of uh, presence to the bass. So then next we have a compressor. Uh oh, what is this? A stock compressor. So Logic is still killing the game with the stock stuff. So then next we got the secret sauce, thermal. I got the link in the description for all of this stuff that I'm using today. And so thermal is bringing color. This is how you're able to hear the bass on your phone. So if I turn this drive up even more. Woo, that's giving us that crunch. So then let's put the CLA on here last, last bit of compression. And same about negative five dB of game reduction. So now we're gonna get into patches and I'm using the upright wing dark indie piano. Yeah. So the first chord we have is C, we got G, B, C, and E. You have A sus4, A, D, and E. So I'm using this chord to act as a B minor seven chord. Because the bass note for this is B. Now we have a B augmented seven. We have the E flat on the bottom or D sharp. Then we have an A. Then we have an E or D sharp, E flat or D sharp. Then we have a G and then a B. And then we finally come to the last chord. This is basically an E minor nine, but I played it a little different. So we have a G, B, D, uh, F sharp, and A. So what's on the piano is RC20. This is what's making it sound lo-fi and vintage and, and all that and this is the old radio ep in uh omnisphere this patch doesn't need rc20 because it already has it built in so you have your drift your hiss noise your saturation it's all built in So I'm using the jazz stock dudes in, in, in Omnisphere. So let's play it with the track. Now we can go into the uh, master bus chain. So the Pro EQ3. So I just rolled off some bottom end, brought some presence, and then put some sizzle on the top. Then after that, we go into our compressor, which is the uh, solid state. Barely moving the needle on this one. So I didn't need to do a ton. Uh, I wanted this to feel like the Instagram video. I did use some imaging. I, I slapped that bottom end right down the middle. So anytime if you're working with your low end guys, just put that low end down the center. That sounds like this. And that's just concentrating that bass 
to be heard right down the middle of the mix. And that's it on that. And then I just used the vintage limiter on the tube setting, minus 2 dB. I did minus 7.9 on the maximizer. All right, guys, so if you got some value out of this video, give your boy a thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel and turn on those bell notifications so you don't miss anything else and check it out. If you wanna watch some more session breakdowns, I got another one fired up for you right over here.